Hi, I'm Shauna and I'm a professional climber. Right now I'm training across three different disciplines of the sport. So that means a lot of time on the wall and it also means a lot of maintenance with my skin. Climbers talk a lot about skin. It seems like a bit of a weird topic, but your hands are your connection with the wall. So your skin needs to be in the best possible condition. If you've got thin skin, it sweats more, which means you slip more. It's kind of simple, but the way to maintain it gets a little bit complicated and it requires a lot of different products, but certain companies make it a lot easier and Rhino Skin is definitely one of them. I don't have as intense a routine as some people do, um, but for me, there's a lot of things I need to do. I need to sand my hands down, so my calluses, so they don't rip off when I'm doing all the training. I need to make sure that my fingertips aren't getting worn down that much. So it's a lot of communication with my coaching team about what sessions I'm doing um, and whether they affect my skin. And because you know, if you've got bad skin, it's going to affect your session. No one wants to have bad skin. So. So with Repair, this is something that I'd use in the evening. So I put Repair on my whole hand, so I squirt into my palm and then rub it in like hand cream. So many skincare products out there for climbers are very greasy, but Repair soaks in really quickly. It feels like it's really effective, so you don't need to like wait for it to settle and you can just kind of carry on once you put it on. With Dry, I tend to put it on the evening before I climb. So if my skin is quite thin and quite sweaty, I'll use it to decrease the amount that it's sweating. So it takes usually around eight hours at least to kick in, so that's why I'll use it the night before climbing. Um, it's definitely massively beneficial for me and I've really noticed a difference in using it. Um, but it's not something I'd use every single day, I only use it when I need it because my skin isn't that sweaty generally. Just if I'm climbing a lot, then it does wear down and it gets thinner and therefore sweatier. So yeah, I do know people who use it continuously and have it as part of their regular routine, but for me, it's something that I use as and when I need it. So I use spit when I'm climbing or fingerboarding as well. So I'll put it on my hands, let it soak in, and then it kind of gives this tacky feeling, and then I'll put chalk on top of that, because I hate climbing without chalk on my hands. Um, and it makes my skin feel way less glassy. So when my skin is really good, it's kind of got this shine on it and it's really slippery. And that feels really gross if I'm climbing or if I'm fingerboarding especially, it feels like I'm gonna dry fire, so just fire straight off the holds, um, which isn't ideal in training or climbing generally. So yeah, I use spit quite a lot, especially during the winter or at competitions that are at high altitude when the air's really dry. Yeah, it's always in my chalk bag. As you can see, it's really chalky. It's actually an old bottle because I always keep it with me. Um, yeah, it works. Rhino Skin have a load of other products that are worth checking out as well. So be sure to have a look. Um, if you've got any questions about any of the products we've been talking about as well, pop your questions below so that me or Rhino Skin can get back to you. And yeah, hope you have good skin in the future. It's an ongoing battle for many climbers.